Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. This little midge pupa pattern is rather easy to tie, even in the smallest of sizes. The combination of colors makes it attractive not only to trout, but to fly fishermen as well. Begin by picking up one of the hooks. Here I'm going to use a size 16, which I'll pair with the smaller 2.4 millimeter bead. Insert the hook point into the small hole of the bead, then work the bead up onto the shank. Get the assembly firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise and slide the bead up to the back edge of the hook eye. Solder wire is used to add weight and to help stabilize the bead. Get hold of the bitter end with the fingertips of your left hand and start taking wraps up the hook shank with your right. Four or five turns should be plenty. Then, helicopter the excess wire to break it off close. While leaving space between the bead and the wire, reach for some super glue or the like and place a small amount on the hook shank behind the bead. Quickly slide the wire wraps forward and hold them for a second or two until the adhesive sets. This will keep the bead locked into place and allow you to tuck in the tag end of the wire without the wrap spinning around the hook shank. For thread, load a bobbin with the spool of brown uni thread. Get the thread started on the hook shank behind the wire and take a few wraps rearward before snipping off the tag. Then go over top of the wire wraps to further anchor them and end with your tying thread just back from the hook point. Snip a two inch length of blue wire free from the coil and butt one end of it up to the wire wraps. Then take tight turns of tying thread to bind the wire to the hook shank well down into the bend. Once again, end with your tying thread a little ways back from the hook point. Pluck a small amount of duck brown dubbing free from the packet. Pull down on your bobbin to expose about four inches of tying thread and create a three inch or so thin dubbing noodle on it. Start taking wraps with the noodle so the dubbing begins right at the back end of the fly. Keep taking touching wraps to build up a body that ends just slightly rearward of the back edge of the bead. Get hold of the blue wire and start making open spiral wraps with it to rib and segment the fly. When you reach your tying thread, use it to firmly anchor the wire, then helicopter to break the excess off close. Next, pull a small clump of cinnamon ice dubbing free from the packet. Once again, create a slender dubbing noodle on your tying thread, this time a bit more than an inch in length. Take wraps with the noodle to fill in the space behind the bead and build up a shimmery little collar on the fly. After taking a few thread wraps behind the bead, reach for your whip finish tool and use it to perform a four or five turn whip finish, seat the knot well, then snip your tying thread free. Colorful and shapely, this little bug is definitely worth some space in your fly box. Mm -hmm.